EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Jacksonville Jaguars. With that, we head across the Atlantic to London. Standing by with the call and maybe a little jet lagged, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you. We are over 4,000 miles away from where you're seated in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England, and Wembley Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with their opponents. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They'll be led out by their quarterback out of Central Florida. It's Blake Bortles. I can't help but chuckle because I always remember when Blake Bortles got drafted as the third pick in the draft the year he came out of UCF. So many people were in shock. They couldn't believe that the Jacksonville Jaguars had not tipped their hand ahead of time. I think they were very happy to get him once they did. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the catch made here by Marquise Lee. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And even 20 yards and a first down on the game's very first play. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. carry for Leonard Fournette. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. And the offensive unit now for the Jaguars. Let's take a look at tight end Austin Safarian Jenkins, or ASJ as his friends and all announcers like to call him because it's a whole lot easier. Second tight end draft in 2014, but production was really lacking until 2017 with the New York Jets. Had 50 catches, which was more than his two-plus combined years with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That was a terrific catch. I mean, to go up there and get it one-handed like that, but I almost want to go into that riff about back in my day, the gloves weren't quite like this. When did gloves really become prevalent, just in general? I think in the 80s. I think as we started to move through the 80s, especially as we got towards the latter part of that, a lot of those were really like baseball batting gloves to begin with with not much of a tacky area on the glove. In fact, there was none. I actually remember in cold weather games wearing the old scuba gloves, which you'd wear in diving, but they would split too easily in the course of a game. Then the glove manufacturers got smart and started adding to it, and here we are today. some time right now he's going to let it go deep right sideline almost able to intercept it 
That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. to throw now on second and ten. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Chris Long in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Following the sack, third and long for Bortles and the Jags. He'll drop to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tucker roll that they can fall back on anymore. And the Jaguars send out their punter. Back deep is Darren Sproles. Mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led up by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. He didn't have as many throws or plays in college as many of the quarterbacks that were coming out in the draft, but he maximized what he had. Ended up winning two national championships as a starting quarterback at North Dakota State. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 20. here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Malik Jackson coming up the middle. Gets him there for a loss of about nine. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. And that'll bring up fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure they didn't give up much run after catch. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Jags will have great field position to start this drive as they take over on the short side of the field.
Fournette, a first down carry. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Now back to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And the Jaguars... Send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two. They've got it second and ten to start things out. He'll look to throw. And he's got the veteran here. It's Mike Wallace. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Jags grab it. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. The Jags with their first opportunity in the red zone. They come up first and 10 at the 16. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. They'll look to throw. That's complete right around the eight. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the great move out of the bag, but couldn't do a ton with it. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Here's a carry for a former starter. This is T.J. Yeldon, and he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. 
It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. T.J. Eldon, and he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage, back at the six. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Now I wouldn't be surprised if they go for it. Three points is not ideal. It's not what they want, but it's still only the first half. Take the three points and move on. This is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Eagles defense able to hold. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in. But I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Miles Jack. Coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of 8. They're going to look to throw. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Miles Jack. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston Company with some work to do after the sack. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll get this up to right around the eight-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Forty-six on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. well he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially given 15. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. are moving quickly in the hurry up. Hey, 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 hey. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Fletcher Cox with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Going deep for Moncrief. And it's caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. And that one results in 35 yards. Tell the truth, partner. You didn't think he was coming down with that one, did you? Come on, tell me the truth. <laughs> no, I did. I'll tell you what, though. A one-handed grab of that length. Talk about giving your team a little juice. Oh, big time. I mean, everyone's going to be excited about that one, whether you're on the field or not. It 
permeates his way through the entire team. And I can't wait to see what they do on the next down. A fake to Fournette. Now it's Bortles to throw. And now he'll tuck it and run. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them, they've sacked back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them. Up. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Austin Safarian Jenkins. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jags are able to cash in for six. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. Extra point tacked on by Lambo. Here's Lambo out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. timeout here called by the defense as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one back to throw under a heavy rush and down he goes Eagles coming up here on a third and long so Winston company with some work to do after the sack So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We want to remind you that new this year in regular season games, I'll take you around the NFL and give you stats and scores from games in progress, as well as look back at games that have already been completed. So keep an eye out for that. But for now, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Miles Jack in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. They'll set up the throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. 
And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll drop the throw. And that is incomplete. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And take it right at the 35. 43 yards on the punt. Seven-yard return, and the Jaguars go on offense. First down and 10. Bortles leads the Jags up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. Lucy, Lucy. They'll set up a throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against them. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll look to throw here. And incomplete on the deep ball. The intended target, the tight end, Austin Safarian Jenkins. And it's third down. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've suddenly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try pressure advantage. Looking to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Then he will bring it back to about the 11-yard line. Well, that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long, and you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Mike Wallace. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. Good with a PAT. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Bortles leads the Jags up first and 10 at their own 24. Back to throw here. That's into the hands of Westbrook over the middle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. They'll look to throw now on first down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. The first down screen pass, good for five. Double up, double up. 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 
Murphy. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Lee. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. Side complete. It's Lee. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. A gain of 32 that time. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Bortles going to come up here on first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. In for the score. And the Jags are able to cash in for six. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. Lambeau to add on the extra point. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And a reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They've really been able to contain Alshon Jeffrey. That catch, a rare exception in this game. And that's a feather in their cap because he's such a tone setter for his team on offense that they try and get him the ball early. And, of course, what comes after that is often. And for them to limit him and him not catch a ball until the second half, it's a big reason why his team is behind on the scoreboard. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. They'll throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Wentz now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll lose 
Huge yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play, and it'll bring up a second and 14. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in London. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. He'll drop to throw. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Now back to throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. They begin with a run by Fournette. Showed off the power, but not much room to run. Brought down at the five. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. It's a gain of seven, and that's going to make it fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. for his running back and he's got it and he showed up a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down 10 yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down so second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker here's a play fake as they set up to throw and he's caught right at the 10 yard line and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown Mike Wallace, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the book. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30.
Bortles leads the Jags up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. He'll get this over to Westbrook. It's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. He'll look to throw. They almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Dancing to his left. And now he'll let this one go deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. They chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Chris Long able to disrupt yet another pass play, his third sack of the afternoon. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Holding offense. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Chris Long. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Two huge plays there down the stretch. The sack on second down. Now they force the incompletion. That's going to lead to a do-or-die fourth down. And they look like they've got the confidence right now that no matter what gets thrown against them, whatever play gets run, they have the ability to shut it down. They are just brimming with it right now. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. to throw now in his own end zone. And they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. Guys, this game's felt a bit weird all along the whole way through, and no better play maybe exemplifies that weirdness than that safety right there. Partner, you've got a tie game and time running out. You've got to be ultra careful down on that end of the field, and this could very well be the play that decides this football game. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. And an alley to run! So a good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. Bortles on the give to Fournette. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. 
And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. like he'll throw here and he can't get a throw away he's taken down and the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout as he'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game following the sack third and long for Bortles and the Jags They'll look to throw, rolling to his right. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. the pressure that time he goes down for a safety and that should all but do it here in this one yeah they put up a good fight but you're right now they have to kick it away and this one definitely looks like a lost cause just past the 35 at the 36. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. again with Fournette. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They go play action here on first down. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he was able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and 14. They're going to look to throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And this is caught inside the five. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Marquise Lee, 60 yards. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away.
So now Bortles will bring the Jags up to go for two. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. Delay of game, offense. So that'll back him up five. Well, Bortles coming to the line with his guys going for two. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play? Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical well as always partner an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you i i, I have to say i am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffet <laughs> you made it to the end you didn't consume a single calorie i appreciate that what you missed is me going to the concession stand outside of your eyesight and getting it done that way. Look, I mean, they were serving the good stuff. I had to do it. Oh, man, but you're, you're svelte in good shape, but yeah, you cheated a little bit. We'll let it slide. I appreciate that. Always a pleasure to work with you. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say cheerio from London.